Fora TV. The world is thinking. So if you were living in this 2255 watt world, um, you have to think pretty differently. The temptation is, I'll go and buy my 100 mile per gallon equivalent Tesla and it's all solved. Um, turns out, if you had a 100 mile per gallon car, you get to drive that for about 20 miles per day, um, and that would be 500 of your 2250 watts. Um, 20 miles per day is less than you are driving today. So the average US person is about uh, 40 miles per day. So if you were driving half in a 100 mile per gallon car, it's still a quarter of your energy use. So, you know, that makes me think twice about that. Um, and is 100 miles per gallon really ambitious enough? This is the Citroën de Chevaux. Um, uh, the French president went to Boulanger, who was the designer for a Citroën, and said in 1932, can you design me a car that will carry four peasants to market, plus their eggs, it has to drive over an unplowed field, has to do 60 kilometers an hour, and it should get, uh, he expressed it, three liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, so Boulanger went away and, and, and 1938 returned with this, the De Chaveau. And indeed, the De Chaveau had originally shipped with an eight and a half horsepower motor and could get 70, uh, 75 miles per gallon. So is a 100 miles per gallon target 70 years after that really ambitious enough? Uh, no. Why was this car efficient? It was slow and it was really, really lightweight. The seats were hammocks, it had a cloth roof um, and it was dangerous. <laughs> so to that point, um, one of the best things we could do instantly to make a really big dent is to reduce the speed limit. Um, and what would you reduce it to? 55 was one shot. Probably you want to go a lot further than 55. Um, and it might sound shocking to reduce the speed limit. Just as a point of note, the average speed traveled in any uh, city in the world of more than a million people in a commute is around, uh, hovers between 9 and 12 miles per hour. Um, I suspect if you slowed traffic down, you would increase the speed of commuting just because there'd be less screw-ups. Um, so I had an intern this summer. I made him drive in circles on, an, on, an air, uh, on a runway. Um, <laughs> And he had to do 100 miles at every, every speed you saw here. Uh, <laughs> turns out, um, the funnier aspect of this story is, uh, is uh, it, was the, it was three days, but he'd been there all summer and just wrote boring code all summer, and he was like a code-writing robot. And three days before the end of summer, I wanted this data point, and I went to him and said, um, I'd really like you to do something that's a little ridiculous. And he says, well, I've been really hoping that I got to do something ridiculous. You don't want to go back to school without a stupid story. I said, I want you to drive in circles for three days. He says, awesome. And, and he says, I've, I, I learnt to drive stick last night. Um, which, this makes my wife, who's in the audience, nervous because it's her car and it's stick. And uh, anyway, so with, as he bunny hopped out of the, the driveway, yeah, so we had to remove the first few data points. Anyway, so the optimum... <laughs> Optimum speed to drive a, uh, this particular car is about 30 miles per hour and you get 85, 85-ish mile, uh, miles per gallon. So I think lowering the speed limit, that's the point there. Or do this, even better do this. I think electric motor scooters, uh, you, that's the other thing. If you're not making cell phones that last, last 100 years, please make electric motor scooters. Um, all right, so you might ask me, Okay, so for a year now you've known all this data and you're trying to reduce the power consumption in your life. How did you do? Well, I did about 17 or 18,000 watts of power in 2007. I think this year I will use about 12,000. Uh, and my life has only improved so far. So I'm eating less and definitely more healthily. I'm exercising more, doing more commuting by bicycle. I'm spending more time with my family by sort of traveling less. Uh, finding that living closer together with your friends and, and, and work people certainly helps. Um, I'm doing a lot less business travel, which is great. Business travel actually sucks. Uh, higher quality, better designed products. It's a really nice filter on your purchasing consumer self to just say, I will only buy good things because you can't afford many. Um, and so that's totally working for me. Uh, less junk in my house. The house is cleaner because there's less crap. Um, and you, you know, hopefully if we're all doing this, we're breathing cleaner air and drinking cleaner water. So I think there is a reasonable argument to say that we can have much higher quality lives while we sort of hit um, the goals we want here.